What's really interesting about the, the visual aspect of food presentation is that everybody has been looking at it from a kind of identification point of view, you know, helping consumers to get information about what they're, they're going to eat. The tomatoes should look like a very red, ripe tomato and people will like it better. And people have paid less attention to more general or abstract influences. So um, in our research, what we've tried to uh, test for is whether just by changing the, the angularity of, of the, the food, for instance, people will start having different reactions to it. Uh, for instance, in a recent experiment that uh, we've designed with the experimental kitchen, the fat duck, what we did was to present people with pieces of beetroots, some of which were cut in an angular way and some of them were cut in a, a, a round way. And so they had this two different shapes, but they were exactly from the same beetroot, the same weight, same flavor. And we presented it in different plates as well, so angular plates and round plates. And it turned out that uh, people didn't realize they were eating the same thing and they found the, the round beetroots in the round plates much sweeter. So what this shows is that Beside the idea that they, the people recognize in all cases that these were beetroots, so it was not the identification aspect of things, it was really about the harmony and some sort of deeper general association that people have with shapes and colors, which really matter, and we start to understand quite a lot about this. If you see how you can harness this research to new uh, problems, uh, uh, like the introduction of novel foods. So everybody's talking and concerned about uh, insects at the moment, trying to encourage people to eat insects. Now that's one place where identification is actually going in the way so that people don't want to see something that looks like an insect in their plate. But you need to find the adequate abstract presentation. What are the, the shapes and textures and uh, uh, colors that people will find appropriate for this kind of ingredients, knowing that they're eating insect-based products? So one thing we're uh, testing at the moment, I don't, still, uh, I don't have the results yet, but uh, the idea was to go for actually non-food colors like gold. Uh, to present insects in a gold color, so like like the um, you will have insect dust, which is gold, which is very pre precious. It's kind of unusual. People are still ready to eat gold decorations and, and meals, and it seems that just by putting this totally new category in a new color category, then it works better than trying to make it look like a meat or, or something like that. So if you think about it, you start with you know, how the food looks in your plate, from how the plate itself looks from the table. And once you've started extending it, why limit yourself to vision? And what you notice is that things like, like the music in the background or the, the environmental sounds actually also make a difference. So does temperature. So we've been looking at all the sensory influences of the wider context of consumption and trying to understand how each factor works, but how also how they interact with one another.